details tonight around the city's embattled $32 million deal for electric cars. The new issue, how the city might have paid some of the bills to Vision Fleet. RTV6's Jason Fechner is here with a new call to review it. Erica Marion County's auditor tonight wants answers from Mayor Ballard's office about nearly $300,000 that appears to have been wrongly diverted from the Stormwater Management Fund to cover the cost of this program. Calling that payment of $293,000 to Vision Fleet as part of this deal questionable, Julie Voorhees, a Democrat, says she's speaking with independent legal counsel to figure out if her office needs to take action now. She says this has nothing to do with politics, but simply as a matter of dollars and cents, and she's willing to take extra steps if this turns out to not be an error. I'd like some information before I complete my review. And um, after my review, if there's some additional information, I'd like to call an external review, either to hire somebody to come in and do a review or ask State Board of Accounts to do a review of the process itself. And Voorhees tells me tonight that she hasn't heard back from the mayor's office yet. Neither have we. A vote to possibly void that deal is set for Monday. Erica. Jason, thank you. More details. The Twitter fight that started on our Indianapolis This Week account between Vision Fleet's CEO and a couple of city county council members continued today. CEO Michael Brylowski fighting back in reference to the deal, tweeting, Vision Fleet did nothing illegal. Saying this on Twitter is defamation. Later in a statement, Brylowski today went on to write, this political fight is unfairly defaming our company and its reputation and imperiling a successful program. We want to solve problems and foster innovation that can be replicated in other fleets across the nation. And we are growing increasingly concerned about our ability to continue that work in Indianapolis. You can see that full exchange by going to our account at Indy This Week.